Good morning, my name is Richard and in this video I'm going to show you how to properly knock the door, making the bed, cleaning the guest room, sweeping, mopping, dusting and also dry mopping. When you want to clean the guest room, make sure to always knock three times and also say that you are housekeeping to make sure that the room is really empty and if there is no answer then you can open the door and see around first make sure that the guest isn't asleep or anything then turn on the lights and open the curtain so sunlight will come inside and open the window or doors after you open the curtain and also the windows make sure to turn off the lights and also check if the air conditioner is still on or off here is the video while I was dusting. I using duster for the dusting. Um, the dusting function is to remove the dust on the surface that can't reach with our hand. I'm using the duster that really help with the removing of the dust in the air conditioner or the frame of the photos or the mirrors. If you are done with the dusting, then the next step is clean it with the cleaner, all the furniture. There is two way for you to spray it. Either you directly spray it to the surface of the furniture or you can spray it on the microfiber. In here I am divide divide the microfiber into two. There is there have for the glass furniture and also for the wood. So the, I'm using the blue one for the glass, as you can see, I'm cleaning the mirror and for the grey one, I'm using it for the wood, so all the tables or anything, I'm using the grey one. For the, for the wood, as you can see, I'm spraying the cleaner directly to the microfiber cloth, so it will not waste because the surface of the wood is not that big so I can spray it to the microfiber instead of directly to the wood and for the television uh, I'm using the same microfiber cloth which is the blue one for the glass to make sure that the LCD or the display will doesn't scratch. Remember to clean it from the top to the bottom so you are not going to doing the step again because when you cleaning the bottom first then the top then when you cleaning the top the dust will be go down again so you need to clean the bottom again. After finish with the right side of the door, then the next step is the front of the door. So in the front of the door, there are windows or doors and also the glasses. So the step is that I'm cleaning the glass of the door with the same off, with the same microfiber cloth, which is the blue one and also the same cleanser. Um, I'm in here I'm cleaning the inside one and also the outside one alright the next step is the left of the door which is the nightstand first is I'm cleaning the top of the top of the nightstand first and go to the bottom one alright the next step is the bed First of all, you need to check whether there is a things or anything that is left inside or left over on top of the bed. But first of all, make sure you need to use your gloves, right? Because maybe there is some people who like to leave their condoms or anything that have been used first you need to open the pillowcase right both of them and 
check it whether there is a stain or something that is being made by the guest if there is don't have anything so you can strip the bed sheets you can put it all inside the inside it and roll it like that so that you can easily take them to your trolley with only one time after you already take out the used bad sheets then now you need to replace it with the new one right first of all the first step is you need to put on the backpack it is needed to protect your mattress from any stain that the gas left like blood stain or anything then the next step is putting the new bed sheets and then after that you need to put the pillowcase and also the duvet in here I'm not using duvet cover because I don't have it so I'm just using duvet don't forget that you need to fold twice your duvet from the top of the bag at least 50 centimeters so that it will leave some room for the pillows and also please tuck in the excess duvet like that and also make sure that there is no any wrinkles from the duvet and also from the bed sheets after you're done with the making bed and then the next step is to clean the nightstand on the other side which is the right one the right side of the bed clean it properly from the top till the bottom of the nightstand after that you need to clean also the wardrobe which is beside the nightstand Clean it using microfiber cloth and also the pincer. Clean it from the top till the bottom. Because the wardrobe has the mirror on it, so you need to clean the mirror with the blue microfiber cloth because the blue one is used for the glass. So remember to clean it with the correct cloth so it doesn't leave any scratch here as you can see I'm, use, I'm doing sweeping I think that is I'm using are the broom, the dustpan and also I'm using gloves remember to do the sweeping by moving backwards and after several sections you need to collect the dust by using the broom and also the dustpan because it will make you easier to sweep in the next section because you doesn't need to bring a lot of dust with your broom to the other section the next step is mopping the tools that I'm using is not this similar with the what you I have because I don't have it what I have is the mopping tools that is available in the supermarket so how it works is that when you put the mop into the bucket of the water when you press it it will spin and it will clean your mop and as well as drying it also so the things that you need to do is that you need to mopping it by using as direction so it clean it like like that the whole way of it and it will be easier for you and it will clean the area fully after you are sweeping and also wet mopping the next step is dry mopping here I'm using the S letter method so as you can see uh, the side of the section will be cleaned properly and also any level dust it will be 
taken also by the by this method or by this tools which is to dry mop it and also it will be clean properly after you finish the dry mopping I think that's all for my video thank you for watching and goodbye